What's up, my name is Dorian Missick, and this is Iconic Views. All right, all right, all right. So I'm standing out here at Urban World Film Fest with Dorian Missick. Oh, yeah. It is such a pleasure to have you. Thank you for like letting me interview you. How have you been? I've been incredible. Yeah. been blessed and highly favored. Oh, you always come to Urban World because I've definitely seen you here. I think it was last year, and then I saw your wife, Simone Missick. Yes, yeah. she was here last year. Yes. Um, what it, why is it important for you to come to Urban World Film Fest? Urban World feels like home to me. You know, I've been coming since the very first one. Um, I always tell people I used to come here to the first one. I didn't have a film. I just wanted to meet all the filmmakers. I came with a book bag with my headshot and my reels in it, and I would pass them out to directors, whoever would take them. And, um, you know, so to have a film in it and to be able to come here, you know, on a, in, in a different capacity is like a blessing. And that's the grind of like in, indie creators, whether it's acting, whether you're producing or director, right. like you got to get yourself out there. How was it for you breaking into the industry? It was, um, it was exciting to me. I didn't really think about it in terms of like, cause I didn't have like these dreams of like someone picking me out of the room and making me a big star. I just wanted to work. So it was exciting, you know, meeting these directors and doing these films, seeing the, the films that were being made and like, a lot of times I couldn't see them anywhere else except at Urban World. And so to meet those creators, I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to be a part of that community. So it was always great. I think that's dope because, like you said, Urban World, ABFF, all of those like film festivals that support yeah. us in our show. Black, Black Star. Star. Oh, yes. I've been to Black Star last year and yeah. it was amazing. It's, it's important that we see ourselves and not only see ourselves on big screens, but also on a, a lower level or smaller, I don't want to say lower, but smaller no, level. Just, all over. Yeah, just yeah, in all, yeah. the all the positions. You know, yeah. that's what I think is beautiful about it. It's like if I was a young person right now walking in here, you can see all the different jobs that people can have that don't just entail being on camera, you know, but you can do that as well. Right. And it's just a blessing to have something like this to, to let you know it can be done. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So what do you got going on right now for yourself? Well, right now I had two films in this festival, one called All Rise, the screen a couple nights ago, and then I got another one coming tonight called Truth. Mark posted this. It was wrong for me to get caught up, but I just needed comfort. You are not the first person who thought that the pastor had the best interest I in heart. I have been going to this church since I was five. God, I wish I was... Hey, 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 no. And I have uh, a film in the theaters right now, Brian Banks. And then I got a movie, a TV show coming out February 9th called For Life. And it's uh, the new one on ABC that 50 Cent is producing. Oh, oh, you a busy man. So you out yeah. you out here. I think that's I beautiful. You up with the missus. <laughs> you know? Okay, who is extremely <laughs> busy. I'm absolutely so mad that they canceled Luke Cage, like... I was just like, really, really, y'all like y'all gonna give us just two seasons? Yeah, we was a little, we was a little salty about that. But then they was like, yo, check this out. Come over to CBS. Let's put you on. Let's put you on a billboard. Right. And she was like, yeah, I think this is better. <laughs> absolutely, <Yeah>. absolutely. <laughs> do you have any dream roles that you would love to do? Yeah, there's a, quite a few. I mean, one one that's like always been kind of on my list is Richard Pryor. I'm a huge Richard Pryor fan, and I think he has a a beautiful tragic story that uh, you know, I'd like to have opportunity to tell one day.